कार्डियक एंजाइम्स और कार्डियक बायोमार्कर्स कार्डियक एंजाइम्स ऑल्सो नोन एज कार्डियक बायोमार्कर्स इंक्लूड माइग्लोबिन ट्रिपोनिन एंड क्रिएटिन काइनेज अ कार्डियक एंजाइम टेस्ट इज वन टूल डॉक्टर्स यूज टू सी इफ यू आर हैविंग और ऑलरेडी हैड अ हार्ट अटैक सीवियर स्ट्रेस ऑन द हार्ट कैन डैमेज इट्स मसल when that happens your heart releases certain enzymes a kind of protein into your blood after a heart attack the level of these enzymes can get pretty high so checking them is a good way for your doctor to know something serious is going on troponin your doctor will most likely test for an enzyme called troponin it goes into your blood soon after a heart attack it stays at high levels even after other enzymes have gone back to normal at present They test for cardiac troponins. The proteins troponin T and troponin I are the key biomarkers in a cardiac enzyme test. Skeletal muscle also produces troponins, but different subtypes. This means that if troponins I and T show up in a cardiac enzyme test, they're more likely to highlight cardiac problems. The enzymes troponin I and troponin T are normal proteins that are important in the contractile apparatus of the cardiac myocyte. The proteins are released into the circulation between 3 and 4 hours after myocardial infarction and remain detectable for 10 days following. Myoglobin. Myoglobin is released into circulation with any damage to muscle tissue, including myocardial necrosis. Because skeletal muscle contains myoglobin, this measurement is quite non-specific for MIs. The benefit in myoglobin is that a detectable increase is seen only 30 minutes after injury occurs. unlike in troponin and creatine kinase which can take between 3 and 4 hours creatine kinase ck creatine kinase also known as creatine phosphokinase or cpk this enzyme can also be measured several times over a 24 hour period it will often at least double if you've had a heart attack the mb type is specific to myocardial cells whereas mm and bb are specific to skeletal muscle and brain tissue respectively The CK level increases approximately 3 to 4 hours after myocardial infarction and remains elevated for 3 to 4 days. This makes it useful for detecting re-infarction in the window of 4 to 10 days after the initial insult. Troponin remains elevated for 10 days, making it less useful for this purpose.